Hi folks, it's Simon Keeling here and it's Thursday 26th of January. Thanks for watching Weatherweb TV. Um, now, uh, we're getting quite used to this scenario now of the ECMWF and the GFS fighting it out between each other and deciding which way they're, they're going to be heading. Um, some notes come in via the website saying, why don't you use the UK Met Office? Why don't you use the Canadian Ensemble? Well, the reason is that we do use those models, um, but what I tend to show you on here are the two main, the ECMWF and the GFS. And if the others run in line, then there's really little point in showing you those. Um, what I will do is show you those other models if there's anything significant to be picked up from them so that's why uh, I'm not showing this range of models otherwise these videos would be 30 minutes or so long um, but also the other thing I want to point out as well is many people just jumping up and down and getting so excited about even um, into the middle part of next week confidence is low look some are going negative some are going positive and not many of them grouped or clustered together so that's indicating that confidence in the forecast is still relatively low as far as the Arctic Oscillation goes, well, after taking quite a dip into negative territory over the next day or so, um, this is going to allow cold air to drain off the pole into the hemisphere. We're getting back to near normal neutral levels. But again, look, a big, big wide spread in the various different runs. And we need to take that, that confidence still remains low in this forecast. We've got to take something, though. And at the moment, as I said, I think the GFS probably has got it about right for the next uh, 10 to 14 days this is the forecast for the next week so this is from today from thursday through to thursday the second temperature anomalies and you can see how much of europe plunges into colder weather during the next seven days british isles below normal as well this is around two degrees to three degrees below normal but look going far far below normal across central and eastern parts of europe and just looking at the actual forecast this is the first week this is the forecast of temperature for the first week and you'll notice the block of cold look over the east of Europe and then into the second week from Friday the 3rd of February look a little cooler through the British Isles but there's cold weather across Europe on this easterly flow just being blown westwards but notice how if you will that this easterly flow that's blowing is actually not putting too much in the way of cold air into the British Isles so I'm tempted to say we're cool edging into cold rather than cold to colder if you see what i mean i think zero to two degrees below normal is probably about right so typical temperatures across eastern parts of england probably going to be between about three and four degrees across western parts of scotland ireland they're near a seven to nine degrees those sort of range of temperatures during the next uh, well taking us up to about the 10th of february and then as far as precipitation is concerned well the anomalies show for next week we're near normal generally across much of the country, perhaps a little bit above across the uh, north, but generally we're near a normal levels of rainfall. So um, I hope that's been useful for you and, and hopefully you've picked out this pattern now. Um, I think the chart which really says it all, which really is the one that we want to stick with, is this one, um, the temperature anomaly chart. That's where I think we're going to be going with things, where we do go cooler to colder during next week. Always going to be England, Eastern Wales, eastern parts of Scotland that are cooler for the west. I think that's where the milder weather is going to be battling it out at times. Of course things could all change tomorrow but that's part of the wonder of weather forecasting. So thanks again for watching. I'll keep you updated obviously on the musing and keep the sun shining.